Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Paula, aka The Hellenials. Um, and I'm here with another video. And today we are going to be looking at my best slash greatest moments from Bad Girls Club. So, um, yeah, this was video was highly requested. I think this is probably the most requested video <coughs> that I have gotten. So, um, I'm just knock it out. But mind you guys, I have not watched any parts of my season since it aired. So, <sighs> this should be interesting. So let's just see what we got here. My name is Paula. I'm 26. I'm from Chicago. When I walk in the room, heads are going to turn. That's just me. That's how I've always been. They feel like they got to compete with me. But, bitch, there's no competition. Like, you're always going to fall short. The typical girls always that don't get along with. Always <laughs> Bitch, you will always fall short. Like, that's no fact. It was facts then, honey, and it's facts now. Uh, bitches always feel like they gotta compete with me. You can't compete where you don't compare. Duh. But I'm showing off these little ugly ass tattoos, yeah. Who? somebody should've stopped me. Right, negative Nancy, like, bitch, you mean to tell me you can't find one positive thing in all your life? If you throw up and you're getting your mother hair, you gonna be mad. No, but for real though, no. for real, I can't stand somebody who can't control their liquor, who just start acting out for like no reason. Like, bitch, stop drinking. If you, you got to know your cutoff, okay? I know it was my cutoff, bitch. I know when I'm getting on other folks, other people's nerves. Like, I know when it's like, bitch, you didn't have one too many, just start drinking some water, goddamn it, okay? Because you're about to start tripping and you're about to start getting on everybody fucking nerves. Okay? Like, seriously. I love Janae. Janae was actually cool when she was dope. When she was drunk. Jesus Christ. I just wanna go, cause fake, bitch, you fake as You fake and you a follower. Yeah, you nice, but I know plenty of nice mother and they are nice because of the fact that they're fake. It's a ghost in the house. I knew it was some fishy in this mansion. I knew it. Bob is playing with me. My hair was late. You ain't hearing you her yet. Okay. <laughs> Don't look. It's a wise. Close your eyes. Oh Bitch, these eyebrows. What's the face my fear? What's the face my fear? <laughs> Everybody is getting into it with my girl Nikki. She's really upset. She's crying. I just feel so bad for her. Really, at this point, I'm the only friend that she has in this house. When I realized that Nikki is come out with brows, it hurt more than anything. I'm the only one who's been by her side, and she couldn't say, "Yo, I'm gone." I was pissed the fuck off. Nice 
I was crying at everything last night. And I'm like, what the f So I was avoiding a situation. I, get I literally it. talked to Nikki. I literally talked to Nikki right before we went out. I literally talked to her right before she got out. She didn't say nothing. And was like, I'm like, yo, come out, man. Fuck it. Like, let's have a good time. Da -da -da -da. Like, she didn't say nothing. She didn't say, like, no, nah, I'm about to go. Nothing. Like, did you just dip like that? <clears throat> After all the shit? After all the shit? You could have just came to me and been like, listen. Listen, P. I'm trying to make this shit work, but it's not working for me. And I'd have been like, all right, cool. But it was just how she went down. And then it was drunk. Y'all got to remember, we just came out from drinking. Bitches be drunk. That's another thing. Half of the shit that happened, we be drunk. Duh. But she just bringing up the worst thing. Why would you want to stay in? Well, thank you for calling because I was upset. I was upset. The only thing I want to say to Nikki is I wish you the best. Jerry. He's kind of creepy. It, it's weirding me out. Like, everybody comes to the realization that, like, this my hair was lame. Is that Rocky and Shannon? She's not a good person. Ooh, my hair Nothing was that you can lady. say will justify what the f you did putting this drunk girl in the bed with a man. No, for real. Put her in the bed with a man. The only Why the f thing you do that? Only no, I'm finna go because I'm getting pissed. And that f right there is. I was really pissed off. <laughs> I was really pissed off. Like, y'all don't know. Y'all do not know the story. Oh, my God. Like, if... Oh, my God. Like... <clears throat> that's what the thing you just have to be there to really understand, like, how fucked up of a situation it really fucking was. Like... That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm saying. Do that. You learn how to pick your battle and learn how to walk away. The situation does not make you a punk. It makes you a better person and makes you stronger and makes you wiser and it makes you better. Mm -hmm. Then the next mother who's willing, willing to fight over any stupid ass situation. Yes, girl. Fighting does not make you a bad girl. line ever and it's still fucking facts and i said it hmm. i don't have an issue with rocky at all at this I point i want to have a conversation with raquel just to tell her to take some time to get to know somebody it wasn't even how it happened that'd be the only shit that we're editing shit I, that's not what the fuck happened bitch i was mad at my motherfucking business i was mad at my goddamn business i don't give a fuck what the fuck was going on Rocky called me over there. I didn't go out there to talk to Rocky. But that's editing. Whatever. Form your own opinion. I f with Jen, you feel like I can't f with her. I think she knows that about you too. Listen, I'm not uh, talking to you. To comment, I'm talking to Rocky. Thank I'm you. Sure Raquel she, she is quite that. capable of speaking for herself. There's one person I'll f with. And that's Shannon. I don't f with Shannon. Because Shannon is Fake. It's a 26. I don't understand why how was it really. I see through her. She I just told the truth. I don't get it. I come from a different club. And I this am. bitch, I don't with. I did. I don't like you. And I don't with you. I don't like my brother. <laughs> understand how that made me a bully because I just said the truth like that was like the most I ever like said like I just don't fuck with you like that's it you we're having a discussion because she don't fuck with me because of Jen right and like it's the same thing so I'm trying to explain to her a situation which it was a whole other situation I it was a whole other situation that happened before that she actually said oh Paul I want to say thank you because it was some shady shit going on. People wasn't giving her phone calls. And I was the one that gave her the phone calls. Because I'm like, this shit don't have nothing to do with the outside world. Fuck that. Okay, bitch. Because we all need to get out of this shit. You know what I mean? Because 
We don't have no other escape other than that one fucking phone call. Bitch, it's like jail, bitch. It's like jail. If a nigga in jail, if you fuck up his phone call, bitch, he ready to fight you. It's the same shit. So, yeah. Like I was saying, like, I didn't play that. I didn't like that. I've been trying to my keep my composure. At the end of the day, the it's way. going tick, tick, tick until I, I go. Was Boom. I don't like her. So you need to understand why I don't like a person. Everything you do starts to annoy me. Seriously. The way she talks it still annoys is right me. Now. The way that she acts fake I'm annoys like me. Her right laugh now. annoys me. Her strong ass face annoys me. Dead ass. Oh, okay. Because what your objective might have been wasn't what the happened. I'm talking you about right now. You lose. And you can push me and you can push me, but eventually I'm Ooh, going to snap. Oh, I was so mad right there. Note. I was so mad. The worst a moment in fucking history. I really have had enough. So if y'all didn't catch that T, I said call her a bitch one more motherfucking time because the t was that we wasn't even arguing about me we was arguing about my friend who came to visit that weekend and she thought she was trying to be shady towards her and she really wasn't and that's why i said we came up here to go to sleep and she said oh well maybe that's what the objective was she thought she was trying to be like shady towards her and she wasn't she was just drunk and couldn't remember Alicia's name and was calling Shannon. And Shannon thought she was trying to be funny and antagonize her. But the reality was she wasn't. So when she left, this was my friend in real life. Not a house friend, not a castmate. But this was my friend. Like one of my best friends. And had been one of my best friends for years. And she was calling her a bitch. And that's when I got upset. And that's why I got that's when I popped off because I felt like it was disrespectful for her to be disrespecting somebody who can't defend themselves. That was it. But I regretted it because I knew how the manipulation happens. I knew how the manipulation happens. I know what the fuck happens. And I knew I fell in the fucking trap. I fell, I fell for that shit. I fell, they got me. And I was so pissed off when I calmed down and I realized what I did. I didn't even sleep that whole night. I was just up thinking like, why the fuck did you do that? Why did you do that? I was really disappointed in myself. That's what it was. So this scene right here is because I was disappointed in myself. I do apologize. But last night, I'm not, like I say, I'm not proud about that. I just don't want you to like be fake nice to me. And I think like that's what my issue is. I'm not that girl anymore. But at the end of the day, I can't take back. I was at a point to where I felt like I had to put my hands on her. So I did. Everybody comes to the realization that like the real issue is not rocky. So my, my hair right there what I've been preaching for flat. weeks. I told you so. But the brow getting fed up and I respect her for coming to me listen, and telling me. Listen, listen. Okay. These fucking brows. Give me just a second. Atrocious. These Fucking brows were fucking atrocious. I should have known I didn't have no real friends in that fucking house because they let me walk outside looking like this. Bitch. They almost connected, bitch. Like, what the fuck? But I will say this. This was before I even was really into um, filling in my brows because this happened what happened well, how I really had to start filling in my brows because I've been getting my eyebrows waxed since I was like <coughs> 16 so they just stopped like kind of growing in in certain spots so I was kind of um experimenting when I was in the house I was like experimenting with different shit like different pencils and powders and just different makeup shit so this is my experimentation phase unfortunately my retarded ass decides that I want to fucking experiment on my face 
on national fucking television. The fuck was I thinking? Hideous. That shit was hideous. How she feels. My hair. And I'm glad that we can talk about this like adults. This is about you and what you make of it. Now you can sit here and dwell on something in the past, but what is that gonna do for progressing for the rest of your time here? Nothing. Man! Man in Speedos! Them brows, bitch! Them brows! Not anybody else, great guy, but mine is sexy. I think he's more of a distraction than anything. I was sick as fuck. I was so sick. I definitely did not expect to make friends I I and meet so people sick. who I feel like will be in my life for the rest of my life. <laughs> I got them teeth fixed Leaving the Bad Girls Club is a bittersweet moment. I'm going to miss my sisters that I made here. I had a blast and I don't have any regrets. Okay. My brows are better than that. Exit is the building. Uh huh. And that ass too bad. <laughs> I was skinny as fuck. I don't know what they talk about. Oh shit, what did I just do? My name is Paula, I'm 26. I was super skinny. Super, super slim. So, ooh. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so those are my best moments. That's funny. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just like I remember it. Like, I still don't have no regrets. Like, about nothing. No, bitch. I do. I'm lying. I do got a regret. I regret them fucking eyebrows. Okay? That's what the fuck I regret. I regret them motherfucking eyebrows. Because them shits was terrible. And I wish somebody would have told me. A producer, some motherfucking body. Somebody should have been a real friend and been like, bitch. Let me help you get these brows together. Because, hunty, the way them shits is looking, they looking real real Oscar the Grouchish. Okay. <coughs> that ass. But no, anywho, thanks so much for tuning in. This was interesting to watch my best moments. Um yeah, I don't regret none of it. I don't really, like them was like real reactions. No that like those were seriously like my real one hundred percent reactions to shit to people coming to me telling me shit saying this saying that they like even my fight with shannon was like a lesson that i learned something about myself and that i don't have as much self-control as i like to think i do sometimes i'd be thinking i'm in control and bitch and i lose it um but yeah i don't i don't the fuck like what's wrong with <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching like comment and if you haven't subscribed already you already know what the fuck to do subscribe <laughs>